My name is Uhuru Mufukeng and welcome to the South African Book Review Sessions, your online political book club where everything political literature is dissected, vivisected and eviscerated. When we started this channel, we promised to review a book each and every single day. Like a review a day, a review every day, every day, review, review, book review every day. Haha, <laughs> guys, I tried that. It almost caused a serious burnout. So instead of frustrating you with my viewership and I myself, we're just going to do a couple of videos each and every week, like a minimum of four videos per week. And that will be enough to keep us going. Basically, there's a subscribe button on the bottom of your screen there, like that there. That's a very important button. Go ahead and click on it, like click on it. Yes, I'm not going to continue until you. Yes. Now, by clicking on that subscribe button, you're not going to incur any extra cost. Absolutely no extra cost. So you just go ahead and click on that subscribe button. No extra cost. Magic. Secondly, by clicking on that subscribe button, you're making sure that you don't miss out on any of the contents coming from our channel. You don't miss out on the reviews of your favorite books and recommendations of your favorite books. So go ahead and click, 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 click on that subscribe button. What are we doing today? To today we're doing five books we genuinely really like honestly dislike five books we genuinely genuinely dislike so we're going to start number five on the list of our five books that we generally dislike is a book by peter dudoit up uh, it's called the stellenbosch mafia yo yo i dislike this book it's a pointless book this is a book intended for people who hate reading newspapers this is a book intended for people who hate watching the news this is a book for people who don't listen to the radio current affairs and like you can get every bit of information in this book from google everything in this you can get it from google so i think it's a pointless book and it's quite expensive expensive and pointless at the same time everything you get here can be got somewhere else for much i i don't like i i i i i yeah this is a pointless book number five peter to toy it apart um what do you call the stellen bosch mafia pointless book number four ha <laughs> inside quattro by paul three well well i don't think this book is a bad book it's it's an okay book but I hate what it did to me. After reading this book about two years or so ago, I went and wrote a very long essay. And in that essay, basically, I was calling Oliver Tambo, the longest serving president of the ANC, all sorts of names <laughs> because of this book. So if you read this book and you are not politically ready, it's going to take it's going to take you for a serious ride. It's going to take you for a serious ride. This is a book I on I've never like it's the first time I touched the book ever since I finished reading it two years ago. That's how you no, know, it's, it's got a bad influence on you no. Know, this one wants someone who's been, who's been politically circumcised forever, not like properly, ideologically and 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 politically trained. Not this thing of joking around. Paul Trevella inside quite it will shake your 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 minor ANC your minor ANC beliefs. You think you're an ANC. You are, I, I, you are not an ANC until you've read this book. Until you've read this book. Paul Trivella, Inside Quattro. Number four. I don't like this book. Number three. Mosma Shamayite, Jacob Zuma. The Moving Finger Rides. Hi, <laughs> guys. This thing was a waste of our time. Wow. Like, what's the, the aim of this book? You see, this book was supposed to be given to comrades who are going to Pulukwan as delegates. Or no, this one, this is a lobby tool. It's part of the lobbying tool. This book was supposed to be a lobbying tool. A pointless book. It praises Zuma so anxiously. I wonder today, 13 years later, does he still share the same views after everything we've been through with former President Zuma? I, I, I would like to know, does Mkhrotman does, does, does Mosma still share the same views about, about, about Zuma? Because here, yeah, here yeah, he forces Zuma, man. Like here yeah, he forces Zuma. Like hey, Zuma is the best thing ever since sliced bread. Like Zuma, guys, Zuma. Zuma is so good. Zuma, like Zuma. Yo, man. 
I dislike this book. It doesn't give you a chance to think for yourself, take your decision. Like, no, you know what? I've read the book and this is my conclusion. No, 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 no. It doesn't do that. It tells you, like, hey, chief, here yeah, you are reading this book. You are going to like Zoom. There's no other way. There's no other way. So I don't like that book. I don't like this book. It, it deprived me the space to think for myself and decide whether I want to like Zuma or not. Number three, Mosma Shaimaide, Jacob Zuma, The Moving Finger Rights. Don't like that book. Number two, Ronnie Castries, A Simple Man. Castries and the Zuma Enigma. It is the total opposite of Mashamaite's book. Here Zuma is forced on us. We love, we must love Zuma. Here we are forced to hate Zuma, hate Zuma. Zuma is an idiot. Zuma is stupid. Zuma is the, like, wow. According to Ronnie Castle, Zuma is the main reason for everything that is going wrong in the country. Like everything, the lockdown, racism, apartheid, everything went wrong because of Zoom. Like Zoom. Like it, it also does the same thing as Mashama. It doesn't give you a chance to think for yourself. Like I must decide. I'm the reader here. I bought this thing. I must read and to and take the decision. Well, I think Zuma is not such a good guy. Oh well, I think Zuma is such a great guy. Both these books, our number three and our number two, deprives it of that particular opportunity because it imposes its opinion on the reader. Number two, Ronnie Castle, Zuma, a simple man. Zuma and uh, what do you call Castle and the Zuma Enigma? Horrible book, guys. Don't I? Horrible book. And number one of the books that I dislike the most. I, I, yo, guys, I dislike this book. It's written by a chap called Stephen Mertfo Mid Midford Goodson. Yo, inside the South African Reserve Bank, its origins and secrets exposed. There are no secrets being exposed here. Nothing. Nothing is. Hey, there's nothing being exposed here. Actually, this is a book almost like this. Because this one also has that element. Castles after leaving the NC started an organization and uses this book to campaign, uses Zuma to campaign. This one was kicked out of the Reserve Bank, started an organization, and then uses this book to campaign. Uses the Reserve Bank and the contents of this book to campaign for his new part. And this comrades think was stupid. We're interested to know about the secrets they're telling us about. But clearly, you know, look at such a small book. Can I man can the Reserve Bank kind of small secrets like this? Like, 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 like this. So, I, guys, this is one, I, did, my most disliked books in my collection. It is pointless. It is misleading. It is masquerading as, 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 a, as an expose of some sort. But then really, it's a campaigning tool for an unknown Mickey Mouse small organization, which basically disappeared and was, was swallowed by history. So here, those, those, those are it. my five books that I really, 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 guys, I really dislike those books.